the moment that I heard his words spoken over WWE like airwaves and his like wrestling has more than one royal family that's something we came up with for him to say together it just Hello, everyone. This is Bill Apter for Sports Kita and the After Chat. And Dr. Chris Featherstone, we're here with one of my favorite people, Brandy Rhodes. And I told you this off camera, you look, you look marvelous, darling. You look <laughs> fabulous, even better than you did when you were single. What do you attribute that to? I guess marriage then. Because yeah, maybe, yeah. If I, you know, if we've been married, it'll be 10 years uh, next month. Crazy. Um, so yeah, maybe maybe marriage just looks good on me. Well, what, and thank you. Do you very take much. care of yourself in terms? What do you work out? What the, yeah. What do you All do? All the time. What's the um, routine? <laughs> so I, I lift. Um, I do. I'm a big Peloton person, so tread, bike, all of that. Love it, love it, love it. Um, I have a great trainer. His name is Bad Br Brad. Bad Brad. We'll call him Bad Brad. Bad Brad. Brad. Brad Kulowich, who also knows Michelle, right. and Michelle um, has been on record saying that he's hot. Michelle, so by the way, that. is uh, uh, your mother-in-law. Yes. yes. Um, so the, all that stuff that no one needed to know. And then um, I <laughs> We know do, it now. <laughs> uh, yoga, which is why, you know, I'm opening the yoga and Pilates studio in Atlanta. Um, I'm a big practicer of yoga, all the yogas, the hot yogas, the, the not yogas, the zen yogas, the the DDP yogas, yogas too? The DDP yogas, yeah. the Brandy Rhodes yogas. Um, and then I do Pilates and reformer Pilates. So I got a, I got a whole routine. Yeah, it sounds like <laughs> it. Dr. Chris. What's life been away from the wrestling business and do you miss it? Um, definitely miss it, especially when I come to stuff like this and have, you know, so many fans come up and, and meet me and um, always surprises me that so many people want to still What do they ask you mainly? Me. What, what do they ask you? Everything. Yeah. I mean, we just talk usually. Usually, I, I like to shoot the breeze. So we just chat about whatever, anything. Do, do they ask you about uh, why you left the wrestling business? Very few yeah. people ask. Because yeah. I've, I've gone on record saying, you know, plenty of stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I think a lot of times people just want to meet and just chat and talk about all yeah, kinds everything. of stuff. Babies. What was, <laughs> what was uh, well, let's talk about your baby. <laughs> Tell us all about your baby. How old now? She's not a baby anymore. She's a toddler officially. She's two. I, and, I have a two year old uh, grandchild. So yeah. We'll what did you say? She calls you G pop. G pop. G pop. What does she call uh, your family? My dad, she calls Paul, which oh, she okay. decided that was what she was going to call That's him. Cool. Nobody coaxed that. My mom is Grammy. Again, that Grammy. was on her. Yeah. And then Michelle is Mimi. But Mimi is her consistent name across grandchildren. I like that. I like that. <laughs> you don't want any other children. Any more children. Um, I would like another one. Okay. Yeah. Um, That's funny, though. That's one of the things that people usually don't. And, and I guess maybe they're trying like to, to trying to be... Um, I don't know what the word is, not not invasive or yes, whatever. Yes, right, right. Um, but then they're invasive dad, about so. everything else, <laughs> yeah, so you yeah, might yeah. as well yeah, be. Yeah, yes, um, but yes, I, I would like to have another child, which is kind of another reason why I'm not really interested in the whole wrestling thing yeah, again, because yeah. why would I go do that and then get pregnant 10 Are you listening, later? Cody? Well, maybe, you know, also I'm not against adoption, too. Yeah, I'm not yeah. exactly 20. That's great. Let's go back a little <laughs> bit to your um, 21. Let's go back a little bit to AEW. Tell us what your AEW experience was like since you're not there anymore. Looking back, rewinding in your head, I, I think you had a very positive experience there. I had a lot of experiences. Um, I will say, and it's hard, you know, to, to kind of draw it all into just one thing. But I, if I have to say the most memorable thing for me and the most impactful thing for me with working with AEW was the relationship that I was able to form with Culture City. That is the thing I always want to hang my hat on with all of the time I spent at AEW and everything that I was able to do. That was the most meaningful thing, in my opinion. Yeah. I think that they're still um, working together, which is cool. Um, but uh, Culture City, the mission, what they do for people, what they allow people to feel the confidence to be able to do is just massive. And right. to be able to have a hand in bringing that to the wrestling industry was massive for me. Um, I have many, many moments with Culture City and with fans that just really, really, really touched my heart. Do you miss any of the talent that you worked with there? Um, or do you stay in touch with some of them? I don't stay in touch with a lot of people. And I think 
that is a, a testament to having a child. Right. That's not a wrestling thing. That's an everything yeah, thing. Yeah. A lot yeah. of people, you know, I used to be the most communicative person. I used to always get back to people. I used to always. I remember. It just doesn't happen the same way anymore. Yeah. Um, when your priorities shift in. and when you're trying to do multiple things with the child, people don't seem to understand that. Like driving, stop texting me when I'm driving with my child. It literally pops up and says, I'm driving. Yeah, I, I will text you when I get there. And they keep. Do you know what ping, 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 drives like, me crazy? I'll say I'm driving and then they'll ping me as I'm driving. Okay, I'll talk, talk TTYL. And like, why are you doing this? I don't I just even need to hear driving. that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Chris, when you're talking about interests, like as far as people, like there's interests that like, okay, I'm not that interested in about it, uh, talking about that. Is there things that's really interest you outside of pro wrestling that you're like, okay, when some of these people come up to you, like, okay, they're like, they like me up, that piques my interest. That they bring up? Yeah, like subjects. Um, I mean, these are mainly wrestling events, so mainly people talk about wrestling things. Yeah. Um, but I mean, people have been very interested in the yoga, uh, Pilates stuff, and you know, people are always interested in the fitness and the things yeah, and yeah. want to talk about that. And then, of course, children love to talk YouTube, about children. Right? You have YouTube page, right? I do not. No. Are you no. cooking or something like that? Um, I mean, I had the the YouTube show. Okay. Um, everybody's yelling. Um, <laughs> they but, know you're uh, here. The main thing is, I'm building a like a 3,000 square foot studio in Fantastic. Atlanta. It's yoga and Pilates space we're doing absolutely everything um it's gonna be fantastic uh and we will have an app and an online platform so fantastic. people around the world should be able to do it tell us about your husband um no one in the family really there was that between time with and i remember seeing you at conventions and people were like hello and now he's become this mega star so life has changed for all of you obviously but that that one night when you knew it was happening, what was it like? Um, I mean, I, I it, there have been a multiple nights like that where things, but you the know, beginning, have, the beginning. have started to happen. Yeah. Um, I would say the biggest, uh, the biggest moment for me thus far, well, it's hard. Two moments <laughs> were WrestleMania last year, where he appeared and you know people weren't sure that he was coming. Just the the, the roar of the crowd. I was in Gorilla for that, right. which you can see on the documentary. Right. Um, sitting next to Undertaker, and I had no idea because oh I was God. so laser focused on just like get to the ring, just get to the ring. And then like halfway through the match, I reached over and I was like, Oh my gosh, Taker, I'm hi. <laughs> and then it was just you know he's like, No, watch, watch. Watch the um, match. But yeah, that was an amazing moment. It's just that the moment that I heard his words spoken over WWE like airwaves and his like wrestling has more than one royal family that's something we came up with for him to say together it just it was everything Is and he then juggling? last year or this last past Wrestlemania being in the front row with Libby um, and her getting to see her dad yeah, come yeah, down yeah. Um, as the star of the show yes, I mean it's the yeah. main event yeah. of Wrestlemania no one wants if they say that's not what they want they are lying like Anybody who's in this industry, no one would say, like, if, if it was presented, would you like to, if, if Vince came to me tomorrow and said, hey, would you like to main event WrestleMania? Sure. But then yes. I'd probably think about it and be like, well, man, <laughs> hang on. For a second. But, you know, immediately it pops up and you're like, yes, that is what I want. And that is what Cody has wanted since he was I know 16 it. years old. I know so it. just amazing. Last question. Uh, I asked him yesterday at the press conference, how is he handling the balance between family and the business? How do you see it? <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> well, he said, he yeah, said that yeah. it's good that he's married because it actually helps him with the business. Yeah. No, that's good. I, I like that. Um, yeah. Honestly, we've got a really great balance of things. Um, I am a, a drill sergeant, take charge type of person. So when he's away, we don't miss a step other than that we miss him. Yeah. But I got everything. Okay. I got everything. I got the studio. I got the baby. I got family. I've got whatever.